Hey everyone, Sunil here with Data Locker. And as you may know, Iron Key EMS is reaching its end of life, which means you'll need to consider migrating to the Safe Console Management platform before EMS is fully shut down on January 1st of 2023. Now this video will cover what EMS end of life means for you, as well as what sort of benefits you can get by using Safe Console as an alternative. Now, as you might already know, phase one of the end of life plan for Iron Key EMS Cloud began in January of 2021. And at this phase, no additional legacy devices could be activated inside of EMS. Now, on February 2nd of 2022, phase two of the end of life plan will begin, and all legacy device traffic and management features, such as password reset, device recommission, and device detonation, will be fully deprecated. Now, the legacy devices are the models that are listed on the screen here, and if you're managing any of these devices today within EMS, then you'll definitely want to complete your migration plan before February 2nd of 2022. Now on January 1st of 2023, phase three of the end of life plan for all Iron Key EMS cloud services will be permanently shut down. Now, if you're using EMS on-prem, you'll still be able to use the software, but Data Locker will no longer provide updates or support, meaning you could encounter compatibility issues in the future and it could become a security risk over time. So if you rely on EMS to manage and monitor your encrypted drives, you'll wanna consider migrating to our central management solution, Safe Console, which gives you everything you've come to expect from EMS and a whole lot more. Now, here are some things to know about switching. First, we are here to make it as easy as possible to switch to Safe Console, which provides a much more robust and secure experience compared to EMS. We'll provide support and resources to any organization interested in upgrading. Second, it might be time to upgrade the older portions of your existing device fleet to larger capacity and more current options. Now, if you're using any of these legacy devices listed on the screen, you'll need to update your hardware in order to be compatible with Safe Console. Now, making the switch is pretty straightforward. First, you need to get your new Safe Console instance set up. Second, you need to configure your user groups and your Safe Console policies to reflect what you have inside of EMS. Third, You'll need to work with everyone in your workforce that are using EMS managed devices, as well as any new users that you'll be adding and exchange any legacy hardware that they have. And fourth, and finally, you'll enroll new devices into Safe Console and then assign them to your users and apply your policies. Now, if you have any questions about compatible hardware, the migration process, or even the promotions available to your organization, reach out to our sales team using sales at datalocker.com and we'll be there to make sure that your migration is as smooth as possible so that you can stay simply secure.